Finally, at this time, I'd like to introduce tonight's uh, future speaker, uh, Emeritus Professor Kevin McCarty. Dr. Kevin McCarty earned his master's degree in English and his PhD in linguistics from the University of North Carolina. He taught in the Peace Corps in Turkey for two years, as well as uh, in the other uh, countries, surrounding countries of Turkey, as a Fulbright professor and as a professor of English and linguistics at the University of Florida for 33 years. In 2003, the University of Florida named him its distinguished alumni professor. I'm very pleased that Professor McCarty accepted my invitation to speak with us this evening. He will be discussing 10 little known facts about Turkey. We look forward to his impression of Turkey. Thank you, good evening. I want to spend just a few minutes uh, with a couple of Turkish words that I've learned when I used to live in Turkey. So please bear with me. Don't yell at me if I mispronounce words. Iyak Shamlar. Wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait. Ben Kirk Besh Sene Unje, Turkiyede Ingilizje Derslede Verdim. Nezaman. Bindo kuz yuz atmish uch, atmish dirt, atmish besh. Nerede, Jehanda, Adana ya, yakinda. Orada, ortuz okulda, velisede, çalıştım. Şimdi, İngilizce konuşacağım. What I want to do is to share with you in the next few minutes 10 little known facts about Turkey. And I hope that when I finish or as you leave here, you, thought, you say to yourself, gosh, I didn't know that about that wonderful country. Number one, Mount Ararat, where Noah's Ark may have landed, is in eastern Turkey. Also, the Tigris and Euphrates rivers begin in Turkey. If the Garden of Eden was found between those two rivers, then Turkey may be the place where the Garden of Eden was. Second, one of the greatest empires of the ancient world, the Hittites, used to live and rule in Turkey. Today in Ankara, there is a marvelous museum that highlights the many contributions of the Hittites to ancient Turkey. Three, the old city of Troy, where the Trojan War took place, is in the northwestern part of Turkey. That's where Brad Pitt and his fellow actors fought. It is right across on the Dardanelles from a place that many people in the West only know from a movie, but it is where the Battle of Gallipoli took place. That was one of the most important battles in World War I, and it led to the founding of the Turkish nation by its leader. Number four, <clears throat> two of the seven wonders of the ancient world are in Turkey. Can anybody shout out what those are? What are the seven wonders of the ancient world that are in Turkey today? Anybody remember? Yes, I think I hear it. The first one is the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. And the second one is the Mausoleum of Mausolus in Halicarnassus, which is modern day Bodrum. Number five, Saints Peter and Paul first met in the ancient city of Antioch, which is today Antakya. 
is that city is also the first place where the followers of Jesus were called Christians. Number six, Santa Claus is based on a person who lived in what is today Antalya, Turkey. Saint Nicholas of Myra was a good-hearted man who used to give money to the poor people he found, especially to those young women who needed a dowry. Number seven, the first modern book was made in Pergamum, Turkey, when the Egyptians would not allow their reeds to leave Egypt, the people of Pergamum began to make books and the word parchment comes from Pergamum in western Turkey. Number eight, Istanbul is the only city in the world that is on two different continents. Number nine, the first hospitals in the Western world were in Turkey. Also, Florence Nightingale, the founder of modern nursing, established the first hospital in what is now Uskudar, across the water from Istanbul. And finally, number 10. In 1999, when Time magazine was listing the 100 most important people of the world in the previous millennium, they began at 100 and worked their way down to number one. The most important person that Time magazine mentioned from the 20th century and the previous millennium was the man who founded modern Turkey. If you go into any classroom in Turkey today, you will see the bust of Kemal Ataturk. His statues and busts are around the country. The more I read about him, the more I was impressed, and the more I saw why Time magazine named him its most important leader in the millennium. As I conclude then, I just want to say it was my honor and privilege to have spent two years of my life teaching in Turkey. Thank you. Thank you so, thank you so much, Dr. McCarty, for the...